Sparrow issue number six from Image Comics. So this series took like a one month break, but now it's back and we start off where the uh, last issue ended. Sort of. We have a flashback. Uh, this issue deals with Patch. If anyone doesn't remember Patch, he was the uh, cat that ended up getting infected and then he got attacked and it turned out that he survived in the last issue. So uh, yeah, we start off with Patch and we see how he got infected where he was protecting Ellie from a uh, an infected raccoon and during the process he ends up getting slashed on the hand and that starts infecting him and throughout the entire thing we basically see him slowly succumb to the virus and he's basically talking to himself about how he needs to get back to his family how he needs to get back to Elsie how he needs to get back to Lord and he's just constantly repeating this over and over and over again as he's trying to fight off the uh, infection so, uh, like, we see him, he's hungry, he tries to get a rabbit, but as soon as he corners the rabbit and sees how frying it is, he lets it go. So there's, like, still, I was almost going to say still some of his humanity left, but he's a cat. He doesn't have humanity. But we see, like, the old patch is still within him, but he's just slowly succumbing to the virus more and more and more. And eventually he comes across Elsie, and he tries chasing after her, but she starts running away from him. And eventually she stops to drink some water, but as he's talking to her, she snaps at him and basically says that, uh, you know, you're shameful, weak, we're all better off without you, Lord's crazy, but at least he's interesting, uh, we're not family, we were never family. And it turns out that it's not Elsie, it's actually a rabid dog. And again, it's just the virus is messing with him. And so he gets attacked by this dog, and he's forced to run away, and he's trying to hold off the dog and trying to stop the dog from biting him not necessarily sure why maybe he's scared that he's gonna get even more infected maybe he doesn't know he's infected but he's trying to hold off this dog and as that's happening we get a flashback of how he was adopted so we see him in a litter filled with a bunch of other kins and uh basically it's this girl who's giving out free kins and she wants to have patch because she thinks that his little eye patch mark on his fur is cute so uh he decides to take patch home and at first elsie is very like anti patch <laughs> she basically likes being by herself so the fact that they're bringing in new cats not a big fan of that but eventually she starts warming up to them and they become friends and they become more than friends they become family and we see that patch has finally been fully taken over by the virus uh, when this flashback ends, he is standing over the dead body of the dog that he has killed. And he's repeating, once again, I have to get back. I have to get back. Only instead of saying, I have to get back to them, he says, I have to get them. And then uh, he comes across LC. I forgot the name of the other cat, but the one that was pregnant. And we see uh, three kittens that she had given birth to. And that's how it ends with Patch watching them. And he has succumbed to the virus. So, yeah, uh, chances are he might be attacking them in the next issue. But I thought this was interesting. It, it's This video is probably going to be short just because it's not very story heavy, I should say. Like, it's just everything that I explained is what happens in this issue. It's just more of just seeing the mind of this cat as it slowly succumbs to the virus. So, like, he starts, he, he's thirsty, he's hungry. He starts trying to repeat that he has to get back to his family. He has to get back to his family. And eventually he succumbs. He gives in to the virus. He ends up killing the dog. I mean, the dog was trying to kill him. So you can say it was self-defense more than anything. But he, uh, he killed the dog. And now instead of I have to get back to them, it's I have to get them. Yeah, uh, I'm glad to see this coming back. I mean, obviously, it didn't end with the last issue. It was just on a one-month hiatus, but I'm glad the hiatus was only one month because I have been really enjoying this series so far. I'm surprised the series is going longer than, um, than five issues because I believe Stray Dogs was only five issues long. That series is good, too. Also really sad. <laughs> like, I both love and hate this series as well as Stray Dogs. I love it because it, it's great. Like, I love the artwork. I like the story. I like the characters. But I also hate it because I love animals. And I hate seeing animals being wounded, being killed. Like, I'm one of those people where if it comes to, like, watching a movie or a TV show or a comic or a manga or a video game, I'd rather see a human die than an animal. 
<laughs> like, I rather, if I had to choose between saving a dog or saving a kid, I'd save the dog. Like, that's the kind of person that I am. Again, fictional. If, if it's real life, that might be a harder choice. No, I would save the kid most likely. But I, I would, actually, I would try to save both if I can. But I'm one of those where, like, I just, I don't like seeing animals being injured and killed and stuff like that. Like, I can never play hunting games or anything like that. Whenever I play open world survival games, I have a really tough time, like, killing the animals that you need to, like, get meat and fur and stuff off of. It's just very, very hard for me to do. So, seeing uh, these animals being killed and stuff is, is rough, but the story is so good that I don't want to stop. Uh, but there you go. There's Feral issue number six from Image Comics. Uh, I have been enjoying this a lot so far. It's been a really good series, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, where it goes from here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still want to thank you for watching it this far, and I hope the next one is more to your liking. With that said, thank you once again, and I hope you guys and gals have a good one. Later.